We wanted to, uh, we looked to get them out uh, pretty early this morning. That was the plan when we started out the day, but uh, unfortunately, Smith batted really well. And uh, they got they got a bit too many runs for our liking, but, uh, but if you look at the overall game, I think the score is pretty pretty bad for this wicket. It's, the wicket seems like slow and it's pretty flat as well, so we take it 110 for one. We'd like to pile on the runs. Too. Can you explain your strategy to Brad Hatton and what you were helping or bowling short to him that you said that you're quite comfortable with it? Did he seem comfortable? Okay. You say so. Uh, I thought we have. A, we really thought he had a genuine weakness over there. And we continue to think he has a weakness over there. We continue to target him in the next test match as well, in the next innings as well. He, uh, he doesn't quite feel comfortable, so that's the idea behind that. But uh, Ashwin, uh, I know they scored over 500 runs again. But do you think this is the best you bowled on Australian side? Can I speak to you? Uh, the last two days has been quite uh, hard working for me. I've, I've worked really hard out there. I've, I've put in a real honest effort and. Uh, Put in whatever I've uh, worked on into practice, and been really disciplined with my skills. And uh, I'd say there have been better, there have been really good spells and patches, but this is probably one of the best overall performances I've had. Got it, uh, Hour and a half until you bowled today. What's, what was the thinking behind that? Did MS say anything about keeping? Uh, no, not really. Uh, I'm not someone who stands next to him and slips and asks him for a bowl or anything like that. But uh, I think uh, the idea was to try and exploit the new ball as much as possible. This is what I think. So I hope uh, it stays that way. But were you surprised you introduced uh, Not really. I mean, I thought if we had a breakthrough, then when Johnson came in, I would really come in handy at the end. So uh, I was prepared, basically, to had my plans in place and thought, I mean, I was pretty clear with what I was going to do. Ashwin, you talk about how uh, the Australian title was about par, given the state of the wicket. But did they get away from you? Uh, not until the last uh, half, of, half an hour or 40 minutes when Steve Smith teed off a bit. Until then, I thought uh, we were pretty much ready for it. So we thought we were going to delay the run scoring as much as possible because uh, we definitely, I mean, there was not a lot of lateral movement in there for us to exploit. And uh, we had our plans to say, make it, to make sure that Steve Smith wasn't getting away. But as ha as it happens, he batted really well and towards the end, he teed off. Okay. Ashwin, 259 runs on the first day, full 90 overs, and today 280 runs. Uh, do you think the wicket improved on the second day, or what was that? I thought it was a bit uh, slow yesterday in the morning. It started off well, really slow. It was not coming on, and the drives were not possible in the morning. And then, as the day day went on, I think it became much. I, I wouldn't really know what was there underneath the wicket or anything, or probably probably a bit tacky or something. So mm -hmm. today it was pretty good. It came onto the bat pretty well. As you saw, we also batted pretty well. How do you approach bowling to, to someone like Steve Smith when he's in the, the form of his life and scored so many runs this series? I mean, anybody is in such form, you just hope that you have a bit of luck and get them out early. But uh, I think he's been batting really well. Uh, we've, we've not managed to find his edge if at all. We found, we put him down. So it's one of those faces, and it's, it's really good. He's batted really well. Credit to him. In terms of the batsman, I mean, would favorite? Can you recall, like, compare it to anything, or does it remind you of anyone? <laughs> I know what you're getting at, but I mean, genuinely, <laughs> genuinely, I don't, I don't really relate to all those things. As far as I'm concerned, I look at him, I try and see how, how difficult I can make it for him to bat. Yeah, sure. Ashwin, you know, whenever India plays test overseas, there's always this talk about, you know, how a spinner should hold one end up for the pacers to strike. You did that really well today, but the runs got leaked from the other end. Does it work the other way as well, when you're bowling so well and the pressure is off from the other end, does it affect you as well? It's, uh, it's, it's, it's too far-fetched for me to think in all, the, all those lines. Uh, to be very honest, I think I can only look at what, what best I can offer to the team. And at the end of the day, you can't really put your, put your finger at anybody else and say they went wrong there. So, I genuinely believe it's a team game. Until the end, I believe that it's a team game, so I'll never talk about those things. Last one, Dinaka. How do you see this? How do you see this uh, game progressing? Do you think India still has a chance to come back? Quit back well? <laughs> see, I think I'm, uh, I'm, I'm no one to like. Basically, you can comment at this game, but if you ask me, there'll be only one thing that I'll say: we'll make 650 and try and put them back in. Thank you, Prince.